Hello everyone, how are you? My name is Savannah, and if you don't know who I am, I'm a full-time clothing reseller on eBay and Poshmark, and today I have another haul video from um, the Goodwill outlet. So there is a bunch of great stuff. I spent $80, so I got oh, it's like 65 pounds around there. Um, but I know how much I spent. I spent $85 for everything you're going to see here, and I'm just going to hop right into it, starting with the shoes and accessories. <laughs> so the first thing I got, which has a little bit of wear, but it's still adorable, is this Diane Von Furstenberg, a little DVF, um, wrap belt. So it has like this interesting like closure device. It like hooks into the pattern. So I don't know, I think it can fit like many sizes, but yeah, it's just like this leather, made in Italy, size medium. It has a little bit of a something there, but for bin prices, I had to pick her up. I don't know how much I'm gonna get for that, maybe $30, but definitely worth picking up. Okay, next, which I need to get listed like today because even though it's still cold, boot season is slowly um, going away. <laughs> so these are an amazing pair of Sorel adorable winter snow boots and they are a size nine. Um, I'm going to list these for about 60 bucks and definitely be open to offers because I don't want to store them for a full year if they don't sell this winter. So um, I picked them up, but they need to sell really quick. <laughs> Um, this next pair of shoes I'm actually keeping for myself because I'm just too obsessed with them to sell them and they're my size. So they are these Nike, um, they're actually the Paul George Nikes. I'm sure there's a more specific name for them, but they just reminded me of a dad shoe, you know, those New Balance dad shoes that are all trendy now but like a little bit nicer. <laughs> so yeah, they're a size nine men's, which is equivalent to like an 11 women's, which I'm usually like a 10 and a half, but these fit because they were a little narrow and they were reselling for about $120 pre-owned. So I don't know, maybe eventually I'll sell them, but for now I'm going to keep them. Next pair of shoes is from the brand Escada. Um, so Escada, made in Italy. They're these little red studded heels, like a little kitten heel. And um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna send these to Thread Up Lux or sell them myself, but it looked like they were selling for about $50. There was the same pair actually listed, so. And then the last pair of shoes are these Patagonia Gore-Tex little Vibram sole hiking shoes and these are a women's actually size 9 so I thought they were men's but they are women's so yeah they're in really good condition and hopefully I'll get about 60 50 to 60 I don't know um, I need to look up the specific shoe style but Patagonia shoes do very well okay now getting into the clothes the first thing I have is this Corey Lynn Coulter sweater, which this brand is sometimes sold at Anthropology, and I feel like this is probably an Anthropology piece because it just looks like it. <laughs> but it's a yellow cardigan with these little bows all over it. It's adorable, it's a size small, and I'm trying to see if there is, there is the Anthropology RN number, so. Definitely sold at Anthropology, and it's 95% cashmere, so that's really awesome. But super adorable sweater. I'll probably price it at about $40 and see what happens. That's pretty much what all my pricing is. It's just kind of a, it's kind of a guesstimate. I mean, I look up comps, of course, but um, yeah, I just kind of see where the market takes some items. So okay, this dress is absolutely gorgeous, but it's kind of wrapped around itself. Okay. So when I pulled this out of the bin, I, I could feel it was quality, but I did not assume it would be free people. So this is the tag. 
It's like the nice stitched free people tag. It's a size two. And it's this gorgeous black dress. And it's like so stunning and long and fluffy at the end. Um, I feel like this dress is gonna do really good. I can't wait to find the style and see what the stock pictures look like because I'm sure. Sorry, I record videos on my phone and somebody called me. Um, but it is a gorgeous free people piece and I feel like the stock pictures are gonna be absolutely gorgeous because I don't think my pictures will do it justice, but um, yeah, gorgeous. I, hopefully like $50. I think that might be a really good free people piece. It just it looks really nice. <laughs> um, this is a pair of BDG button fly high rise shorts and these are a size, mm, they are a size 28 and they are the super high rise foxy shorts. So they're like a nice acid wash color and I'll price these at about 25. Another cute pair of shorts cause it is a short season or it's approaching, spring break is coming up. These are American Apparel and they are a size 26, 27. And they have this super fun tropical flamingo floral banana leaf print. I'm obsessed with them. And these I'm probably gonna price at about 35 just because they're super unique and I didn't see a lot of stuff like that out there. So price it up a little bit. Um, this is Madewell, and it's a size medium. This is, I think, a jumpsuit. <laughs> um, so it has, like, this little halter tie front, and then, yeah, so it's, like, a little jumpsuit with uh, little cinched ankles. It has pockets, I'm pretty sure. Yes, it does. <laughs> Always got to point that out. And then the back is, like, completely open. Um... So yeah, definitely gonna have to look up the style on this piece. It feels like it's made of linen. Oh, it's made of cotton, but it was from spring of 2016. So I'll just pop that style number into Google and see what the heck this thing is called. <laughs> but it's a really nice piece for spring. Okay, next I got this big stack of J. Crew shirts. So these are all the same size. They are all J. Crew factory size medium. These little like lightweight turtlenecks, which they have a name. Um, <laughs> they're like one of the J. Crew factory basics, but I have one, two, three, four of them. So they're all size medium. Um, I might even have another. Yes, I do. I have five. Um, so there are five of these shirts. So I think I'm just going to bundle them and probably price it at about like 35. I don't know. They're really light. So I think somebody's going to want them and they were all in a stack. So I just grabbed the stack and I'm like, mm, these are in good condition, the same size. So give it a shot. This is a treasure and bond, which is sold at Nordstrom and Nordstrom rack this little sweater with this little polka dot peekaboo detail <laughs> that's what I sometimes call that I don't really know what the actual name is but um it has like a little shirt hem so it's really cute it is a size small and I'll probably get about 20 bucks for this and there's a little piece of fuzz this is a nasty gal which really doesn't resell super well anymore but I love their pieces um, they're just really fun. This is a rose pattern little satin zip up jacket and it is a size medium and I'll probably get about 30 for this. The next piece is from Altered State. This is a brand I personally love. They have such cute stuff um, and this is a little, it's almost like a choker neck, it's like a little keyhole but it's this uh, floral tunic, super gorgeous, size large. Um, I'll probably price this at about 30. Next is a brand I don't find often, and this is kind of an interesting piece from them, but it is Elizabeth and James. And it's this little gray 
Uh, I'm not sure if the neck is supposed to look like that or if it's stretched out, but uh, we will have to do some research and definitely note it if it is. But it has this like lace up detail that's laced a little too tight, so I'll have to loosen it up, but it's really cute. It's a size medium, um, maybe like $30, even though it probably retailed for like 100 which is crazy for a sweatshirt, but whatever. I got it at the bins. <laughs> so, can't complain. This is Holding Horses, an anthropology brand. And this is adorable. This romper, what size are you? A size extra small. And it's this navy and white striped romper. Perfect for spring. The back has a little keyhole tied opening and little tassels yeah this is perfect for spring and summer um and it's like kind of thick like it's almost like two layers of fabric so it's not lined but it's definitely not sheer um hopefully i'll get around like 45 for that romper so this is a brand i think i had heard of but i just loved the saying and then when i looked it up it looked like these were reselling like decently but i don't know um, it is good human. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. But it's just this really adorable mint graphic crop top. Um, and it says collecting moments, not things, which is kind of ironic because um, I definitely got a lot of things, clothes, <laughs> collecting in my house. So, but it's a business, right? <laughs> not a hoarder, I promise. <laughs> um, the next thing is from the Addison story, which I'm not sure where this is sold, but sometimes it's at Anthropology. This is a silk blouse with this gorgeous foil detail. Um, yeah, it's just stunning. So I had to get it. It is a size small and I'll probably list this at about 30. Next, a little pair of Lululemon shorts. There's a little logo. They have uh, like a gray floral print on them. These are, oh, they actually have the size tag. They are a size six. So I'll hopefully get 30 for these. Okay. Um, next is a florite little floral open kimono. Um, so this is a brand that's sold at Anthropology. This is their, I think their older label. I'm not sure. But it's a really pretty kimono and super lightweight, perfect for spring. So I'm really excited about a lot of the pieces I got because I feel like they're very seasonal, um, which is exciting. I don't always shop seasonally, but when it's at the bins, it's like convenient when it's actually seasonal too. Um, this is a Reformation which I've never found this brand before, but apparently it does very good. So I'm excited. Um, but this is a little black ruffle detail, button up tunic dress, I guess I would call it. Um, but it buttons all the way down. This is a, I think a size small. I'm just assuming a size small. Um, oh, a size six. There we go. So it has the interior tags and it's a size six. So hopefully I'll get about 50 for that. That's what the comps looked like, but we will see. So I've never picked this up before. It's called Marine Layers, and honestly, it didn't look like it was doing super well, but um, I just really like this shirt. It just says, take it easy. It's a cute little graphic tee, and it was so lightweight that I figure somebody's going to want it, even for like 15 bucks, and I paid like 25 to 50 cents, so can't beat it. This is 120% cashmere. That's actually the brand. Um which I've never picked up before, and it has holes. Now that, yep, so this has holes. Not going to sell you, that's okay. Next is this Victoria's Secret bra that is still in the wrapping, like from being shipped, but it's a really pretty lace detail push-up bra. It's a size 32C. So I'll price this at about 30. And um, yeah, I don't know. I like getting bras because they're really light, but I definitely don't get them all. But if they're new, heck yeah, I'm going to pick them up. This is an Athleta, Athleta 
size, medium, little window pane plaid, navy popover blouse. Um, so it just buttons halfway down, super cute and lightweight. Um, and I'll probably price this at about 20. Okay, J. Crew. Um, so at first when I saw this, I thought it was a men's button down and I'm like, why does it say size four? Because it looked kind of oversized and it totally from the front looks like a men's button down or it did to me when I looked at it. And then, okay, cooperate please. <laughs> and then you flip it and there's this sequin stripe down the side. So this shirt is super fun. Yeah, I love it. Um, so yeah, it's definitely like, I called it the mullet shirt. It's like business in the front and party in the back, but it's really fun. And I feel like it might be kind of current. Um, let's see, what year were you from? Mm. Oh, no, from 2014, but still. Um, hopefully I'll get about 30 for this just cause it's fun. It's real fun. Um, next I got a pair of brand new tags. Editor um, from Express. Slim, straight trousers. And these are a really pretty royal blue plaid. And they have all the tags, even the tags on the leg. Oh, they're on the back of the leg. Um, so yeah, I'm going to price these at about 30 And those pants, the editor pants, usually sell well for me anyways. Um, but I've never found them new with tags, so I'm sure that will be even better. Um, next is a pair of Hudson, and these are the Hudson 10th Anniversary. Ooh. Um, but they are a nice wax-coated cotton <laughs> jean. That's what you call like that. You can kind of see the texture of them, but they are a gorgeous royal blue color. They're in excellent condition, and they're a size 27, so... Usually I don't get a ton for Hudson jeans. Usually I get like 25 to 30, but I think these might be better. So I'm going to price these at about 50, um, just because they are honestly like new and we will see what happens. Um, this is the other reformation piece I found reformation and it's this like ribbed, um, it's like a turtleneck crop top and this is a size small that's the inner tag again so I'll probably get like 30 35 for that is that a hole no sometimes when I'm watching through these is when I find the flaws in my items because usually this is like the first time I'm looking at the things um, and then I wash everything after the haul but, or I wash it and I just haven't looked for flaws completely. So sometimes I catch them on camera. Um, this is an American Apparel pair of like shiny black high rise leggings. And they're kind of like a thick material, but they're kind of like that liquid look. Okay, next bag. Next I have this coach. And I've never found coach outerwear like this. So this is a puffer vest. <laughs> um, and I think it's actually women's, even though when I first grabbed it, I thought it was men's. But it's a size large. And yeah, just a really nice puffer. Um, this is a... <laughs> Desigual, I'm horrible at saying this name, brand, um, but it sells really well for me regardless. This, it says handmade feeling and it's a little skirt with all sorts of fun flowers and this like kind of Rasta looking stitching and hopefully I'll get about $40 for that. Uh, next is a pair of AG or Adriano Goldschmied stevie ankle jeans and i usually get about 30 for these this is a pair of spanx which sell really well on ebay i haven't really tried them on posh but this is a 
I don't know what the proper name for it would be. A girdle? I don't know. But it goes like up under your boobs pretty much. And I'll probably get about 30 for that. This is a White House Black Market. And this is the newer tag. So it's definitely a more current piece. Um, but it's this navy jacket with this black piped detailing. And it has little snap or actually hook and eye closure if that's what it's called um but yeah so it just hooks up all the way down and it is a size eight i'll probably price this for about 35. um this is a free people intimately little coral pink lace dress and the back is completely open which people tend to like, and it is a size mm, small. So I'll probably price this at about 30. Um, I've never picked up this brand before. It's called Trendiano. Um, or yeah, Trendiano. I'm like, did I write that right? Um, some of the pieces. <laughs> It's so great. I feel like Rally Roots needs this, honestly. Um, but yeah, it's kind of self-explanatory why I got it. It's adorable. But the brand seemed to actually be doing pretty good. So I'll probably get about 35 for this. Um, another Victoria's Secret bra. This one's really cute. It has like pink lace and this little side detail. And it is a size 32 double D. So I'll price this at about 20. This is a, another Victoria's Secret bra, but it's Victoria's Secret pink and it is new with tags. It's also a 32 double D, um, but it is like a bralette. So the straps are a little twisted, but you get the picture. And I'll probably get about 20 bucks for that. This sweater is so stinking soft. Um, it is Moth from Anthropology, and it's a size extra small, but it's definitely oversized. So it's this gray ribbed turtleneck sweater, and wow, the softest material ever. So this is a Jenny Yu bridesmaid dress, or I believe it's a bridesmaid dress. Um, it has this little knot detail and super long, obviously. Um, it is a size six, but I'll probably price it at about 35 to 40. Um, I like to get the Jenny Yu bridesmaid dresses because they tend to do well. Now that I'm planning a wedding, I know they are not cheap. <laughs> um, this is a Ryu, which I think is sometimes sold at Anthro, but I don't think this was. But it's this like metallic knit, adorable sweater. Look at the lace hem. I could not leave it behind. And it is a size, I'm not sure, because it's not on the top. Um, it is a... Hmm, it is a mystery. It is a mystery size. It looks like it's a small or a medium, but I'll have to measure. This is a Bowden size six, or no, size two, UK size six, uh, silk wrap dress. So it has this really gorgeous polka dot detail and it wraps, super cute. And I'll get about 30 for that, hopefully. But honestly, Bowden does, does not sell like it used to for me. So, I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully it sells. Um, this is a pair of Walter Hagen men's plain front golf pants. Um, the only reason I got these is because they were new with tags. And they were originally $70 on sale for $50. So, if I can get like $25 to $30, I will be happy. And they're actually pretty light, too, because they're kind of an athletic material. Next is a pair of Eileen Fisher, size large, black, 
stretchy pull-on pants. They're kind of like a boot cut. And I'll probably get about 25 for those. Okay, so this next piece is my first time ever finding Ralph Lauren black label. So this is the highest end label from Ralph Lauren. Um, underneath it, I think it goes purple and then green, but I'm not absolutely sure. I just know this is the one you want to look for, the black label. Um, but this is a size medium, a little off the shoulder, ruffly. It's actually pretty cute little sweater um what is it made of okay so it's 82 percent silk so that's nice and it's a size medium so yeah um i'm gonna have to look up some more comps on this one i couldn't find something exactly like it but i'm probably gonna start it at about 80 and see what happens this is a Topshop metallic faux leather moto jacket, and this is a size 2, so I'll probably price this at about 30 It's really fun. Next is a pair of Citizens of Humanity Rocket skinny jeans. They're in really good shape. Um, these are a size 29, and I'll price them at about $30. So I actually got another pair of new with Tag Express editor pants, obviously from the same person because they are the same size. But this is a black and white patterned pair. Super fun, and I'll price them at $30 as well. Okay, these Zara jeans are crazy. Someone's gonna love them. So these are Zara, and they are a size US 2. Look at how fun these are. So they are fully studded down the complete front of the pant. It's amazing. And they have a button fly, they're high rise. Um, yeah, the back is plain, but wow so fun and yeah so they're just studs they're actually not like jewels which is what I thought they were at first but I don't know I think these might be a good pair I don't know I'm gonna price them at 40 bucks we'll see that might be crazy but you never know until you try um, this is a pair of true religion coated cotton again or the wax coated denim. These are maroon skinny jeans and they're a size 29. And I'm gonna price these at about 40 to 45 just because that coated denim is in and they're in really good shape. And then I have a pair of J. Crew toothpick size 27. They're like a faded black wash jean. And I get about 25 for these. Okay, getting into my last bag, I have a pair of American Eagle um, high rise shorty shorts, and I think they're a size zero. Yep. And I have two pairs of these. The other pair is somewhere in there. And I might just bundle them, but um, I usually get about 20 bucks for these. They need to be steamed though, definitely. <laughs> um, this is a Banana Republic. Millie collection skirt, which I did not know they did a collection with Millie. So it's a really pretty geometric yellow and gray skirt and it is a size six. So I don't know. I think I could probably get 20 bucks for it. It's really fun for spring. So had to pick it up. Um, this is a pair of Adidas men's drawstring like sweat shorts and they have the little tree foil on them they're a size 2xl so hopefully i'll get about 25 dollars for these this is a pair of levi's orange tab vintage jeans they're a size 33 but usually the vintage 
um, jeans run a little bit small. So these would actually probably fit a woman. So yeah, there's a little orange tab. And usually I get about 40 for those. A White House Black Market red button down blazer. And this is a size four and I'll price it at about $30. pair of Athleta black boot cut yoga pants and they're in excellent condition they're a size large and usually I get about 20 for these so um, there's a first for everything this is my first time picking up underwear from the bins but they're Lululemon so um, it was worth it <laughs> but it's a size medium and I'm gonna put them down and hopefully get like 20 bucks maybe I don't know how much do Lululemon underwear sell for I don't know um, this is a pair of free people button fly high-waisted skinny jeans and they have the raw hem super fun they're a size 29 so hopefully, I don't know, hopefully I'll get like $30 for these. Next is a La Blanca, uh, really fun swimsuit. It's the brand, La Blanca. Um, but yeah, it's really strappy and colorful and I don't know, hopefully I get 20 bucks. I'm just trying to get some fun swimsuits for spring break. Um, this is a Patagonia, it's a women's little pullover, so it's a half zip, and then on the back it also has a zippered pocket. This is a size medium, and I'll probably price this at about 30 It's really nice. It's in really good shape, too. Next is a pair of Diesel jeans and I believe these are men's yes they are um, they are the button fly jeans and they always have a style number but I'm gonna have to look it up so I usually get about 40 for diesel jeans and these look like they're in pretty good shape so yeah probably about 40 bucks next is a pair of J crew little linen double zero shorts they're super tiny and super cute um, hopefully I get about 25 for these. And then this is a, ooh, has a little stain. But it is Theory, size medium. It has this little button detail on the side. And then I noticed, where'd it go? There is, oh yeah, there it is. There is this little stain, so... Um, I think I'll be able to get that out. It's a really cute shirt. Um, and hopefully if the stain comes out, I'll get like 30 bucks for it. Um, next is a Bob Mackey. Little floral scoop neck shirt. This is a size 3X. That's the main reason I got it. And I figured it was a really fun spring print. Um, so hopefully I get about 25. <coughs> oh, excuse me. This is a pair of uh, True Religion black size 30 skinny jeans. And they have the little embellished jewel pockets. And uh, they're actually kind of more of a straight leg. So sometimes True Religion will have style on the tag or the cut yep okay so these do have the style so I'll just pop that into Google and see what the exact name of these is but they're in really good shape and they're a really good size so hopefully I get about 35 to 40 for those this is a knitted and knotted to sold at anthropology size medium little tunic sweater Super cute. Um, and hopefully I'll get like 30 for that. 
I don't know, knitted and knotted really doesn't do super well for me anymore. Um, so maybe like 25. So this is a pair of Adriano Goldschmied um, Angel bootcut jeans. These have been patched. So, well, you can better see it in the inside. But they've been patched. Um, I almost didn't pick them up, but honestly, they did such a good job. I feel like they still have so much life left and somebody would still buy them. So I got them, but we'll see. I'll probably price them at like 20 bucks. They are a size 28. But yeah, you can see like the cuffs and everything are in pretty good shape. So I got them and we'll see. Hopefully they sell. Um, another pair of AG, Adriano Goldschmied jeans. Um, and these are men's, the graduate tailored leg. And they have some distressing and some like light staining, but if I can get 25 for them, I will be happy. So I didn't find much on this brand. Um, it's Wild Fang, but it's just an elephant button down shirt. Um, it's men's, but I don't know. It might not be good, but I thought maybe somebody would want it. Maybe not. I don't know. That's one of my take a chance items. <laughs> not really sure about that one. Um, this is a J. Crew women's boy style shirt. And yeah, size two, just a blue button down blouse. And I usually get about 20 to 25 for those. This is a J. Crew 120s two ply men's Ludlo. Ludlow, I don't know how you say that, um, but it's a men's checkered button-down dress shirt, and I'll price it at about 25 Okay, these are really fun. They are Joe's jeans, but they are, I just noticed, they had a little hole, dang. You see that? Well, that sucks. They're not so fun anymore. <laughs> But they're like these little cargo jogger pants. And honestly, it's a really, really tiny hole. But I'm obviously going to have to disclose it. And maybe somebody won't care. But that kind of sucks. That killed my vibe a little bit. I'm not going to lie. Um, this is... Oh, this is going to let my vibe right, right back up. It is a Burberry London men's button-down dress shirt. It was just sitting in a bin right in front of one of my friends. And I'm like, oh, you don't want this? And I popped it out of the bin and he's like, what? <laughs> that was sitting there? I'm like, yeah, I don't know. Um, but yeah, so it's just a nice Burberry dress shirt. And I mean, I really don't get that much for these. About 30 bucks, but still. I was glad to see it at the outlet. This is a brand I don't pick up often, but it is Tahari. It's a size six. And it is a really pretty yellow dress with this little belted detail. And hopefully I get about 30 for it. I just thought it was a nice color for spring. All right, this is a logo Lori Goldstein little tunic top. It's blue, like space dyed look. Um, it's a size small. Hopefully I get about 25 for it. I usually sell um, logo in plus sizes. So these are stuck together. This is a Under Armour. Um, it's almost like a camo looking vest. And of course the size is ripped off. But um, it's a really nice lightweight athletic vest. It looks like it's a medium or a large, but yeah, I don't know. It's nice. It has venting and stuff throughout it, and I probably paid 50 cents for it. So um, I think I'll get 20 bucks for it. This is my first ever Outdoor Voices find. So it's not a pair of leggings, but it is a really cute hat, <laughs> and it is from the San Francisco... Um, Outdoor Voices store and it is brand new with tag <laughs> and yeah I don't know hopefully I get about $25 for it it's just a light blue hat 
So this is my first time finding this brand. And when I looked up comps, I was very thrilled. Um, so I knew it was good. I, I heard it somewhere. I don't know where. But it is Etro Milano. And this is 100% silk. And it's like a blazer jacket with this little flip. Let's see. It has like a little flip cuff type thing. Um, what size is this? I haven't even looked on the inside. It's a size 46. Um, yeah, made in Italy. But yeah, I was really excited when I found this, especially because it's silk and it's honestly like weightless. Like I probably paid 25 cents for it. And, um, I might just send this into thread up locks. I don't think I'm going to try reselling it myself. But it's a very high-end brand. Like, that probably retailed for over $600, which is nuts. Um, yeah, so I was excited to find that. My first time ever finding Wilfred, which is sold at Aritzia. And this is Wilfred Free. Or no, Wilfred Zero. <laughs> I can't read. Um, but it's this gorgeous little cream open front blazer jacket. It's stunning, and it has pockets um yeah it has these little like hidden pockets but it's absolutely gorgeous and hopefully I'll get about 50 to 60 for it uh it's really really pretty did I say what size it is I don't think so it's on the inside um yeah I have no idea what size this is so that'll be fun but <laughs> I was really excited to find it here's the other pair of American Eagle High rise shorties. So I'll probably just stick those in a bundle. This is a pair of Theory men's dress pants. So I didn't even know that um, Theory sold men's, but here we go. Size 38. Um, wool, navy dress pants. And it looks like I'll get about $35 for them. So I found my first piece of Wilfred and then I found another one, but this one I'm very confused by. <laughs> so this is an extra small Wilfred. Um, so <laughs> it's some kind of like wrap tank top, but I cannot figure it out for the life of me. So um, it's made of linen, it wraps, it's open back. I hope I can find a stock photo. <laughs> um, next is a pair of Lululemon. And these are a size 10 regular. And they are just the drawstring like wide leg pants. Just a little logo. They're actually in really good shape. I might just keep them. I have not decided. But... Um, if I do resell them, I'd probably get about 35 for them. And it looks like that is everything I have today. So if you stuck through till the end, thank you so much. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching all the brands I got this week. And um, yeah, I don't know. I'm really excited to list some of this stuff because a lot of these brands I've never even seen before. So... I always like checking a brand off my list, um, but I hope you guys are all having a great week of sales and a great week in general, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.